You're listening to Niger Live. Uh, this is Dr. Peregrino Brima with an update on the massacre in Kaduna, in Zaria, Kaduna, which happened in Nigeria between uh, the Saturday, Sunday, and leading up to now. Uh, today, this is a, a break in broadcast at um, on. Zach Zaki's um, residence was attacked. Um, one of their, first of all, one of their houses was attacked, and the 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 the, the, the name of their group is the Islamic Movement. And one of their buildings was attacked. First of all, um, according to the army, there was a shootout, but the Islamic Movement said the it was unprovoked. The chief of army staff. Buratai, Lieutenant General Buratai was involved and he, um, they, the military official claim is that it was an assassination attempt on him. The Islamic movement says, you know, that it was unprovoked and from the reports, at least between 50 and 100 people were killed. Uh, at least another 100 were arrested by the Nigerian military. This is a repeat event. Sometime last year, the military killed three of Zakzaki's sons and another 31 members of the Islamic movement in Zaria. According to the military reports, um, the military is also complaining, which is odd and is not their responsibility to do so, but they're also complaining that the Islamic movement constitutes a public nuisance, and we believe that is the duty of the police. The military is only secondary to the police within the country in ensuring peace and order. In any event, um, the deputy to Zakzaki was killed, according to reports. One of Sheikh Zakzaki's wives or wife was killed. And another of Sheikh Zakzaki's sons was killed. So the the loss cannot be over expressed. And we are calling on, you know, Nigerian authorities to show um, professionalism and responsibility. And we want full investigation and probe into the events to know exactly what happened and we are calling on the public to send us whatever information they have whatever evidences they have whatever pictures people have we want all that evidence to put together uh, this case as our duty as human rights advocates and people in the modern media right now we have a breaking audio we have obtained the audio of Sheikh Zagzaki while he was under siege. According to latest reports in Sahara Reporters, Sheikh Zagzaki was found hiding in a bunker um, somewhere close to his house. He had sustained a bullet wound. Now, from the audio, um, Sheikh Zagzaki is having a phone call with someone from Iran and is reporting that his house is being is under siege and that from the Saturday to Sunday they were shooting the military were shooting at his house and that's probably when his wife and son died so we do not know what would warrant such an attack but here is the exclusive audio that we have you are listening to Niger live that's niger.live um, here's the audio from Zach Zaki from the night to morning of the tragic event. <laughs> Mashallah, mashallah. How are you, my brother? Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Okay, uh, we heard about the story there. I wanted to know from you what happened. Okay, right now we are under siege. 
You're listening to Naija Live, Naija.live. So that was the audio from Zak Zaki, the siege on the residents of Sheikh Zak Zaki of the Islamic movement in Zaria. At about at least 100 Muslims were killed in that attack by the Nigerian military. Um, the Nigerian government is yet to comment on the event. The Kaduna state government also is yet to comment. This is Dr. Peregino Brimer reporting, and this is Niger Live.